you got to you have to make a choice to choose to walk in love. Thank you, Lord. There are times I have to tell myself in situations, just walk in love, Mike. Just walk in love. I have to tell myself that sometimes. Just walk in love. They didn't probably didn't mean to do that. If they did, they're probably sorry. If they did, they are probably having a bad day. They probably just got up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay? We just need to have those kinds of attitudes to where we can walk in love. Because if that love walks, that agape walks, decides whether God is able to bless us, whether God's able to answer our prayers, because our faith won't work. One day I was, one day I was meditating on the word the Lord spoke this to me. And he said, he said, faith worketh by love. And I, I found out that's a God thing. Faith worketh by love. And he said, if you're not walking in love, your faith won't work. <coughs> so I said, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. Now I tell people that, you know, because God told me that. And people think that's impressive. I don't give credit for it. God gives credit for it. Yeah. He's the one that spoke that to me. Because it, it lines up with his word. Because the word says that faith worketh by a God thing. By God. Let's look at that. Turn with me over to. Uh, turn with me on down to. Uh, huh? <laughs> turn with me down to Galatians chapter five, verse six. Every one of these words, love, is agape that we will read today. For in Christ Jesus, in, now in, the Greek word in here is, is in, in. But it means a fixed position, a location. For in Christ Jesus, located in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision. In other words, it's when you're in Christ, it doesn't matter whether you're circumcised or whether you're not. God still sees you as righteous and holy. Because you're in Him. Amen. And you want to stay in Him, keep obeying God. Amen. If you don't obey God, then you're cut off. God said that. Yes, He did. So He said, In Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision availeth anything. But faith. But faith, they faith, faith, which worketh by the, by agape. Yes. Your faith works by agape. In other words, if you're not walking in agape, your faith won't work. Yes. That's a scary thing if your faith won't work. Because sometimes we need our faith. Amen. We always need our faith. Yes. But there's certain times in our life where without our faith, we could die. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? I had, a, I had a point in my life years ago. This was maybe 20 years ago. We lived down by the lake, and it was maybe 25 years ago. We lived down by the lake down in South Missouri, down by Table Rock Lake. We lived in a house down there. And I got real sick, and I kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker. And I, and I knew how to receive healing by faith. You know, healing is part of the atonement. Jesus took our infirmities and bare our sickness, and by his stripes we were healed. And I knew how to receive my healing because I'd done it many times. Amen. Matter of fact, I went several years without, without having anything to be able to get on me. But I, I, this time, this time, I got sick, and I kept getting sicker and sicker. And I kept, I kept praying and believing God. I kept standing in faith that I was healed by the stripes of Jesus. I give God praise and glory for it every day. But I kept getting sicker and sicker. Finally, I called because I thought, I, I'm going to die. You know, I was getting so sick, I thought I could die. So I called out to God. I said, God, I said, what's wrong? I'm standing in faith. I know I am, but there's something missing. And I know you're not missing it. I know I'm missing it somewhere. You see, God doesn't ever miss it. That's right. God never misses it. If we can't, if we don't get healed, because we missed it somewhere. That's right. We need to seek God and see where, I'm at, where, where am I missing it? Mm-hmm. So I saw God with my heart. God knew I was serious. And he spoke to me and he said, you hate such and such and because of that you can't be healed. And I told him, Lord, it's true. I do hate you. see, we all say, well, God knows my heart. And you know what? He really does. Yeah. He really does know your heart. And he knew my heart. And, he, and I said, God... <laughs> I said, I forgive him. I said, I don't want to die. I said, please, Lord, forgive me. 
I said, now well, I would pray for him, but I would pray like, Lord, get him. Kill him, Lord. <laughs> but that's not the way you pray for somebody. <laughs> that's not love. That's not what God said. You know, in, in the prayer of faith, Jesus taught, him, taught his disciples about the prayer of faith. He said, have faith in God, Mark 11, 22. He said, have faith in God, the next verse says, and, and, and the next verse says, whosoever, therefore shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass. And then the Greek says, happens. Then he'll have whatsoever he says. And the next verse says, and when you, and the next verse says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, and then you shall have them. And the next verse says, and as you stand praying, it's still talking about the prayer of faith. Yes. And as you stand praying, if you have aught or anything against anybody, forgive them. So that your Father which is in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. The next verse says, For if you forgive not those that you have all against, your Father which is in heaven will not forgive you your trespasses. You see, you, you, you get in unforgiveness. God can't punish it. God can't help you. God can't meet your needs. God can't answer your prayers. And, and you need your prayers answered, right? Love. Love forgives. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life. God loved us so much that he sent his Son to die for your sins. He sent his Son to die for your sins so he can forgive you. But you have to receive him by faith. You have to walk in his ways by faith. You've got to choose to forgive other people like God forgave you. Hallelujah. Look with me at the next scripture we're looking at. Look with me to uh, go on down in the same chapter, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit, say the fruit. Now I am the Michael Means. Now there's other Michael Means. But I am the Michael Means. The one and only of me. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's only one of me. There's not more of me, there's just one. There's other guys with the same name as I am, but I'm still the one. Now, the fruit here, one time the Lord spoke this to me. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is love. And I said, well, Lord, I said, there's lots of fruits of the Spirit. And he said, no, there's only one. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is love. And, and I tried to argue with him, but then he said, you look it up, the fruit. And I looked at it, the fruit is one fruit. The fruit is one, it's like the one and only fruit. He said those other things are, are manifestations of you walking in love. The Lord told me that. So I looked at it, I found out the Lord was right. The fruit of the Spirit is agape. Agape is the fruit of the Spirit. The, the agape of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. The agape of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Jesus says, by their fruits you shall know them. By their fruit. Now, if people are walking in love, you know they're walking in the yes. God. Right? Because God is love. God is agape. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, by their fruit you shall know them. Jesus said, if the branches don't bear fruit, my Father will cut them off and throw them in the fire. He said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Stay in me, and I'll stay in you. He said, abide in me and my words abide in you. You can ask what you will, and it shall be done unto yes. you. Glory to God. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. So the fruit of the Spirit is agape. It's love, agape. And then that produces joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Agape produces all these other things in our life. Remember, faith works by agape. Yes. Faith works by agape. Agape will produce the other things of God in your life. As you walk in love. The love of God. The Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. His banner of love. Glory to God. Thank you. His banner of love. Because God loves you. He will provide for you. Because God loves you. He will meet your needs. Because God loves you. He'll fight your battles for you. Glory yes, to God. Thank you, Lord. Because God loves you. He died for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
ਹੋਰ ਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼